Hello and welcome to another edition of Men of the Apes, the daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Apes films one minute at a time. I'm Todd, and I've got Richard and Sean across from me. Hello. Hello. It's almost like we never left from yesterday. I know. We're here again, sitting at Zeus, ready to conquer Minute 98. It's Wednesday, it's new comic book day. Yeah. Wednesday, the... Local, local comic shop and get you new comic books. Wednesday, the 21st, correct? Correct. Correct. There's, so... There's no new countdown this week. Count, Doomsday clock. We've been moved to every other month. Boo. Okay, sorry. Uh, we're going to start Minute 98 with <laughs> Zaya saying, you'll find evidence of the master of this house... And ends with Zaya saying he can offer alternative descriptions. As a minute 98, we've got two living humans, two confirmed dead, shrewdness of apes, and a gaggle of humans. So before we move on into this minute, we're, we're obviously approaching the end of this movie. And we've talked often about your count. Mm-hmm. Are you planning on, do you want to take your count with you into the next movie and then the subsequent movies? Well, or? no, because that will be for this movie. For the next movie, it will be a new I don't, count. No, I'm, I mean, uh, will you take a new count? Oh, sure. I'm we'll sorry. We'll try a new count. We'll okay. see, see how it goes. All right. And I, then I have one thing I'm going to ask of you, Richard. To me, this is a minute where we need to read the script. And I know in our pre-pro to this, you talked about that there were some differences. But right. there was enough in this that immediately, as I watched it, I kept thinking, this is something where we need the lines of dialogue. And we've talked about when we go to the future movies, right. maybe playing the movie back. We'll do that later. If you would so indulge us. Uh, well, I'm going to be a little, I, I have to say this, the, um, because I'm handwriting these out because I'm do your not best. as old as Todd, but oh. <laughs> hand- <laughs> well, I don't know that I might actually be older than you. You're Sean not. just made that quip on, on Tuesday about Here's Todd a good being part. the older one. You'll never be as old as Todd. I'll know. So, so, <laughs> so my 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 handwriting is a little scratched. So if I pause, do it. Do what you need to do. All right. So, Zaius in the last minute said, "Well, for a time, the ancient kept humans as household pets until the lawgiver proved that man could not be tamed. Keep digging, Cornelius. You'll find evidence of the master of this house, an ape." Do you want me to keep going for the rest of this? Okay. So what I what was interesting is Zaius then kind of walks away from the scene. He walks away from Cornelius, and that. Unique placement of Nova and Taylor, uh, Taylor yeah. to the left of the screen, yes. of, yep. of the viewing screen, sitting down. Zayas just kind of conveniently sets the doll right in front of conveniently. Nova. Conveniently. Yeah. For her to pick up. To her to pick up and play with incessantly. <laughs> she begins stroking the doll, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So Cornelia says, um, what are you doing? Talking to Taylor. Taylor says, reconstructing a past life. All right, so... A past life, whose past life? Right. He's, he's just going through the artifacts. And so he says, let's see, let me see if I got this right. <clears throat> you say these things were found at the same level. Whoever owned them was in pretty bad shape. He wore false teeth and eyeglasses and a failing heart. He had this uh, towards the, wait, towards the end, he had this uh, prefabricated valve put in it. He must have been. What? Ah, sorry, my notes met. <laughs> he must have been. I don't know a man I knew at home. Something along those. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, because he had all the same weaknesses. Oh, he must have been like the men I knew at home because he had a doll. The same weaknesses. Uh, he was a weak, fragile animal, but he was here before you, which is. Uh, which is just as ingenious as yours, and he was better than you are. So I find... Yeah, so there's a lot to unpack there. Oh, wait, I cut that out. Sorry, I, I, went, I went one line too long. That's okay. The, the, the main reason I even asked is that, I, to Sean's point, I think there's a lot in this. Taylor, first off, admitting the frailty of man. Right. Which is rather surprising and rather insightful for someone as dim-witted as Taylor. <laughs> But to be able to say to say that we find strength in the things that we the way we fix our frailties, and that they're all like us, yet we were still superior to you. So, I'm, as much as Taylor sat by before and didn't say anything, he was just waiting for his zingers because so he could completely nut punch Zayas right there on the whole ride over there for like a week that they took to get to the Forbidden Zone. All he's been doing is. <laughs> <laughs> He's been coming up with comebacks for, okay, if he says this, I'm going to say this. If he says this, I'm going to say this. Well, they, 
They sold out of you at the jerk store. <laughs> so, so Zayas says you'll find evidence of the master of the house, an ape. So yes. he wants Cornelius to kind of keep digging because he's going to clearly find an ape. Whatever he thinks right. is not yeah. there. He, he conveniently They're sets the doll in front of Nova. Which, hang on, before you go on, when he says you'll find the master of this house was an ape, <clears throat> once right. again proving what we talked about at the end of the other one, Zayas doesn't know shit. He still thinks... He does think that an ape was over this and keeping keeping this human with a human doll as a pet. pet right. That's yeah. a further. That's a continuation of that. That you may find these things that illustrate to you that humans had some power. But the truth is, you will find if you dig further, if you keep looking for the truth, apes have always been ahead. This next line, I mean, after Zayas kind of walks around and kind of sets the doll in front of Nova and Taylor. It, the the next line when Cornelius says, what are you doing? It's just kind of an opening line yeah. where he's kind of setting up. To, he, he, yeah. he, he, you know, he's pitching to Taylor to bat the next line, yeah. right? The question is, does Cornelius really think that Taylor is on to something or was Cornelius just kind of, why are you messing with my dig site? I would say uh, the latter because Cornelius, I don't think, knows what these items are uh, that that Taylor is picking up. Not to say that he believes either Cornelius or Zayas believe what it is because of what they say later, but um, you know he wants to know why is he what it, what is he the interest that he's finding in these artifacts and what I find interesting is okay maybe he can figure out what the false teeth are maybe you can figure out what the shredded up uh, glasses are right how many of us have seen a heart valve before I yeah have you I mean. I've seen, especially in 1968 or 70, whatever this yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, I've seen place. video of it. I've seen, you know, films or videos online, right. of, you know, a beating heart. But I've, if you were to say, "Here's a piece of plastic. What is this?" The last thing I would look at is something and say, "Well, that's a heart valve." Right. Yeah. I mean, I mean Taylor says reconstructing a past <clears throat> life, and when you just kind of look at him, all he's really doing is picking objects. Yeah. Up. Clearly, right. he's not like. Hell, they might not belong to the same person. Sitting around picking, and he's not, he's literally not doing anything other than just picking up objects. He's, I I, I was disappointed that Taylor didn't seem to be. Oh, what invest- story could this beer bottle tell from well, the he, person yeah, he, who he drank did, from he it? Didn't, oh, he didn't well, appear he, to be doing anything. They're just sitting down. Yeah. There was no reason for me to see Cornelius say, what are you doing? And he'd be like, let me pick up this object and tell you what it is. Let me pick up this object and tell you what it is. I just wanted to see a little more movement to make me think that Taylor was actually reconstructing a past life versus... And he has no passion to his statement. Just picking it up, yeah. Even, even whenever he gets to the whole thing that they were a superior race to you. That's a great... As, to Sean's point, maybe he practiced that zinger all the way mm-hmm. over there. But he's shown no passion to this point. No. And first off, Cornelius has all the interesting dig facts down there underneath that very dusty tarp that he pulled away. Right. Why is he keeping the false teeth, the, the glasses, and the heart valve? On the other side of the room? Yeah. <laughs> it's... Yeah, because the, right now the the uh, or did Taylor sneak down and get him at some point? We didn't the, know the it. The tarp and the and the artifacts are towards the center of the room, right? And the items that Taylor is picking up are off to the side where he and Nova are sitting to uh, camera left. And it says he he says you say these things were found at the same level as that doll, right? He wore false false teeth and eyeglasses, and had a failing heart, a- and the. I want to know from these items, false teeth, eyeglasses, and a failing heart, if any of these things actually meant anything to Zira or Cornelius or Zaius, because we don't know that apes have false teeth. Or glasses. We've we not don't know seen they have glasses. glasses. They smoke and they have cigarette holders. Yeah. But We've never seen them talk about failing Sur- hearts. Or surgery right? of any major... We've talked about surgery on... People Brains. to do gelding or a brain gelding surgery. and and blood transfusions. We blood saw blood transfusion, transfusions, but no necessarily. But these are surgery. these are some really really big things. It was kind of nice that, uh, and then, and a failing heart, uh, and towards the end he had these put in, and he's talking about the the the, the heart mm-hmm. uh, heart valve, mm-hmm. and it was just kind of an interesting. Like, and towards the end, he how did Taylor know that towards the end he yeah, had a heart he was valve almost dead. He could have had it done in his 20s and lived for another 50 years. Uh, you know, it's Taylor reaching for yeah. what he, you know, he needs to say. But maybe he's just jumping to conclusions or trying to illustrate a point. He had all these right. frailties. And towards the end, he did this, just trying to show a full life. He must, he must have been like a man that I knew at home because he had all the same weaknesses. He was a reek 
fragile animal. So he's assuming these and are all. And I call him dad. <laughs> <laughs> we assume he's from the same person. Uh, yeah. This 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 particular human uh, was in a cave with a doll, with a heart valve, and eyeglasses. That's one screwed up human <laughs> and fake teeth. But he's. And he's better than all the. <laughs> I can't even talk about this minute without going forward. Uh, he's describing a certain amount of technology that is beyond the well, humans that he's seen? encountered so far on this planet. Nova wouldn't have false teeth. Nova wouldn't have a heart valve. Nova wouldn't have um, eyeglasses. Shouldn't this be the point where an astronaut who has to have some kind of training on his mission, what's going on? Should this not be the red flag moment when he's looking around going, wait, they had false teeth. Glasses. I saw this pair of Ralph Lauren glasses at the the ophthalmologist. I almost said proctologist. I swear <laughs> to God, I almost said that. that. Very but, uh, and, and heart valves and dolls. Maybe I'm back on earth. Shouldn't he be thinking that More. now? There's so much in common. With, yes, with that's so uh, amazingly in common. Yeah. Well, he adds, but he was here before you. He was just as ingenious as yours, and he was better than you are. So why was he better than yeah. these apes if he had to have a heart valve and teeth? But because they had glasses, the technology to do technology it. Because they had technology these kinds of things. Maybe. It well, was they just... could have all turned out to be Swedish murder machines and killed everybody. How does he know that they're better? That's why they're dead in there with their doll. They all went crazy one day. He doesn't know any of this stuff. So at this point is so at this point is Taylor. <laughs> at this point, Taylor is now piecing together something about there was an earlier culture of man that had this technology. And now somehow man is regressed and apes are dominant and the earlier man was better. He, he is just so dumb. I, I hate he to say so dumb. I, I'd mentioned that I watched some Planet of the Apes thing and this guy who was a historian, a film historian, said one of my best friends says that Planet of the Apes is one of the worst movies because Taylor should know from the time he gets there he's on Earth. There's this no, I hate to say watching this one minute at a time may I'm not gonna say it's ruined it, but I can theory. actually yes, I can look at it and kind of go, he's kind of right. There's so yeah. many and I've used the term red flag probably three or four times now, but there are so many red flags at this point that you're at least somewhere so similar to where you were that you better start considering that. Mm -hmm. And do he doesn't think of it. Do you at this point, if you were Taylor, if I saw this evidence, this evidence right here, I would say to myself. I got to get out of this fucking nut job. <laughs> I've got to get out of this nut job city uh -huh. and wherever I'm at right now because there is a man or a tribe or something somewhere on this planet that has people that have fake teeth and heart valves and glasses. That's true. At least I would be thinking to myself that there are some if, – if, if these apes only know this area and don't know outside of it, I would be thinking – I, I've got people. Right. I've got people Time somewhere that can talk to me. Yeah. He still doesn't even realize these apes are talking to him in English. English or doesn't uh, acknowledge the coincidence of he that. He didn't if... say anything about a universal translator that they have in Doctor Who. <laughs> or Star Trek. <laughs> or Star, sorry, Star Trek. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. It's, it's uh, TARDIS technology allows them to, to communicate in Doctor Who. And it's universal, the universal translator allows them to talk in. And a Legion flight ring that allows them to communicate and in And they all Legion. speak basic in Star Wars. It's just. I'm surprised you didn't do that in nerd voice. Listen, they all speak basic and dark words. Although the Wookiees are not able to properly vocalize it. That's why they speak their <laughs> charm. They can both understand each other through the common language of basic. <laughs> I know when JJ listens to that and you go to nerd voice, she's so proud. <laughs> it, it was she just... wasn't legally bound. <laughs> Contractually. So he has. Oh wait! I, I say I finished that sentence. And the minute ends before that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I keep submit. doing that. Oh, so I'm back sorry. to but back to your points. I mean, these are the things that you would think Taylor would start to set off a light bulb. Somewhere. Yeah, where he'd be going. Um, can can you excuse me Did for you a moment? Metallurgy. Y'all stay here. I'm mother. I need to go check something outside and get on the horse and ride away. I probably would. I'm like, you people are crazy. Hey guys, I got go, some uh, crazy apes. I gotta go. Or you've got a gun. Just start mowing down the apes at this point. Seriously. Cornelius, Ziri, you've been really good to me. Bang, you know? What? I mean, what are you? Okay, you're Taylor. What are Don't you? Don't ever say that to me again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you hoping? 
You're not going to be repairing. What's the end your, game? You're yeah. not going to be repairing your ship. You're not getting home. You're not getting home. So back on Earth, there were lots of women, and none of them loved me the way you do, Nova. That's all he lots wants now. He loves his Nova. Love. Well, but 